Hello, this is Julie. Welcome into the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, I did my birthday trip to the Hobby Lobby that opened not too long ago. That's about 30 to 40 minutes away from my house. And I took the money out of my craft fund. And actually, I was able to put some back in. I think Partly because I had a cold, I really didn't feel like shopping too much, and partly because I just enjoyed looking at the store and realizing that I really don't need much of anything, but it's always fun to look. So I will show you the few things I did get. The first thing I found is this wonderful Easter gift sacks and they are quite heavy and there's 10 count and it was 40% off and the price was $2.29 and actually it might have even been 50% off but I'm always um, using gift bags and so I'll be able to use these at Easter and I even thought I could use them any time of the year and just maybe cover up the Easter eggs with flowers or birds or butterflies but I thought they were really pretty good quality and I like the verse and then I hit the clearance section and found a few things these jewels just kind of spoke to me as they're blingy and shiny and I found this canvas ribbon and it has different crosses on it. And I had seen people using this paper pad and they were 50% off. So I decided that I would get it too. And it just has some very nice vintage paper. And of course it's a thinner paper but it's really pretty and again I don't need any paper but it was so pretty and on sale and my birthday and then I went to the Sizzix section because I like my die cuts and I had never heard of this line before it's where women cook and I decided I was going to pick out one of the dies while I was there for part of my birthday gift. And I like this die cut. I like Sizzix because they can cut out heavy chipboard and I thought it would be nice to have these tags and it comes with the embossing folder. I think that is really a good finishing touch when you have a die cut that has embossing on it. And partly because it has a J on it. And that's the initial of my first name. So I liked them all, couldn't decide, so that's how I chose. But I think this will be fun to use. And they are called jar labels and I've gotten into using jars as gift packaging so I thought these would be nice to have and then I went to the thrift store and the guy asked me how I was doing and I said oh I'm doing really well it's my birthday and it was a young man and he said oh I think you get 50 percent off on your birthday I said I'm good for that well, he checked with his supervisor, and no, that really wasn't the policy, but because he had said it was, she gave me the 50% off. Got to take your deals while you can. So I found these neat. I assume they're like little hors d'oeuvre forks. I imagine these are probably like from the 60s or 70s, maybe. And when I got it home, opened it up, there's not only forks, but little spoons. So I thought that would be fun to use. I found some glass pieces. Of 
course I like the white glass and these are just little pieces so I can fit them in crevices between my bigger pieces. And I found this piece. I like the hobnob and the frilly edges like that. Then this piece was kind of fun. It has a hanger on it so I don't know if it's meant to be like an ornament or something but I just thought that was really cute and I might even gift that to somebody. And I saw somebody decorate a jar like this and I'm sorry I can't remember who it was but I thought that would be fun to alter. <clears throat> then I found this, I assume it's candle ring and it has some neat leaves, acrylic leaves and little butterflies and flowers and a little round, I assume they represent grapes. Then a fun piece of jewelry that I can take apart. You can see the leaves and the flowers are separate. So that'll be fun to use. I found some books. This one is called Always Friends. And I thought the graphics were really nice. So I like the, the vintage graphics. And then this was kind of a fun book. Miss Manners, Guide to Excruciatingly Correct Behavior. So I thought that might even be fun to tear out pages and put those on greeting cards or other items such as, as that. And all about my dog. It is quite a nice little album, but I thought I could use bits and pieces. It's seemingly that I have a lot of friends that like dogs, and I don't have many dog die cuts and little embellishments. And my in-laws raise and breed and raise dogs, so I thought that would be a fun book. Then I found this um, kind of like a slide rule my father was a mathematician and a chemist and my older daughter has her undergrad in math and I really enjoy math so I just thought that would be fun to have found this old mailbox. My grandma actually had her mail delivered in this by her door and I thought that would be really fun to order and maybe put by our back door where we come and go and we could store keys or other things in there. Another fun thing to alter. It's a little window and it has screen in it. So it's already distressed. So that would be fun to alter up. <clears throat> then I found this little, I imagine you put it on your dresser, but it has little drawers. And I thought I'd put some of my junk jewelry that I'm going to be using to alter with and store it in there. And I found some fun pot holders, but I thought I might even put those on the wall. That's really pretty. Found two of those. And then I found, I think these were put under the, the placemats, but there are four of those. And then I have four of this kind and I thought I could use it when I make a lace book. I would have the beginnings and the pages 
of a lace book. Just fold it like that. It has the edges. It has kind of a linen fabric and I could add the laces. Open it up like a book. So I have two sets of those. And then the last thing I'm not quite sure why I got it, but when I'm looking for things and I see initials, like initials that you would put on a wall, a display piece, or a notebook with the initial on it, I often find my initial, my younger daughter's initial, and my older daughter's initial. And I'm always amazed at finding those three, which are J, B, and R, or excuse me, J, B, and L, or R, depending on which name you, <laughs> but anyway, make a long story longer, these pretty placemats with the embroidery on them says J, B, L, so the J is for me, the B is for my older daughter, and the L is for my younger daughter, and I want to make you put it in a picture frame, but it kind of just represents the relationship that I have with my daughters. Um, we're very close, and as they're getting to be adults and maybe going off and getting married soon, I just would like something to give to them to symbolize our relationship. And it's okay that the initial in the middle is larger because that daughter's six foot tall. So that I thought was just real pretty and appropriate for my daughters and I. So that was my little trip, or part of my birthday trip anyway. So thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.